Pacific Northwest National Laboratory has developed a technology that is inexpensive and elegant to provide us the ability to monitor and understand the security risks that are happening in these systems. In this video, we are going to demonstrate PNNL's Serial Tap technology, which enables us to monitor the traffic from a legacy serial device communicating with the control system. The communication will be monitored by traditional enterprise security tools where we can provide and enable the analytics that we're used to in enterprises and monitor the risks of these systems. In this demonstration, we will be modeling a water tank. The water tank will be controlled by the SCADA pack. We are using an Arduino board to simulate the water tank. The valves will be shown with red and green LEDs, which will show closed and open valves. The blue LEDs in the center will show the level of our water tank. On our first computer, we have our control system. This is controlled by the Wonderware HMI. This HMI lets us interact with our SCADA pack. We can open and close, drain and fill valves, and also read the water level of our tank. In between the HMI and SCADA pack, we have put our PNNL serial tap. This serial tap converts the DMP traffic into Ethernet packets. These Ethernet packets are easily used by security enterprise tools. In this demonstration, we will have a second laptop which will provide our security sensor. On the security sensor, we are leveraging common open source tools. The Snort Intrusion Detection System will provide us the capability to monitor the communication between these devices. With our HMI, we are able to send risky commands. The first risky command is a warm restart. The warm restart will cause the SCADA pack to restart its logic. The second risky command is disable unsolicited response. This will cause the SCADA pack not to report any critical events. These risky commands will be captured by a serial tap. They will then be sent on to our security sensor. We can see that when we send a warm restart, it is alerted. Also, when we send a risky disable unsolicited response command, it too is alerted. This provides a security analyst the ability to determine when something risky is happening on a legacy system. The serial tap provides a web configuration portal. This includes configuring the serial port communication characteristics. It provides a capability to simulate TCP communication and handshaking which is required by some enterprise security monitoring tools. It also provides different methods of framing the communication between the serial devices and how to packetize it. It provides common mechanisms for updating the security and password management for the tool. And finally, it provides a capability to go into headless mode to turn off the web configuration portal as a secondary security measure so that nobody can break into this device as a security risk. Industry is concerned about security tools that will interrupt communications. This is why PNNL developed SerialTap to be fail-safe.